Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I'm Aisha and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can add chart, pie chart or bar chart uh, and many other charts in your WordPress website. So uh, this yeah, I use uh, this charts and pie charts uh, will, be, uh, will be very good uh, in giving an analytics you your user. So here you can see I have just created a user analytics where my users are from which countries etc. And these are the data that I have just uh, created. So these analytics and data are very helpful uh, in showing the authenticity of your website and giving it a uh, pure base so we'll see how this is done and before we get into the video don't forget to subscribe as we come up with videos on woocommerce and wordpress every now and then to get your website performance up and top so i'm going to go to in my dashboard my dashboard i'm going to install a plugin let's go to uh, in plugins and add new the plugin i'm going to use a uh, specializer uh, let's search for it and this is the first plugin that uh, you will be able to see and I'm going to install this plugin. So you can see that there is 40,000 plus active installation. It's the most grossing plugin for the tables and chart managers for WordPress. I'm going to activate it and once activated, you will be able to see the home page here. So here you have in the dashboard, you will be able to see chart library, add new chart and support option. Uh, let's go to the chat library and here is where all the uh, chart you have done will be able to uh, see. So uh, since I don't have any, I'm just going to add new. So there are various type of uh, charts available. The one is tables, pie donut, line, area, geo, bar, uh, column, bubble, scatter. And all of these are the free uh, free versions. And if you have much more complicated things like gauge, candlestick, timeline, radar, polar, combo, all those things, all those things, you will have to in, uh, uh, install uh, the premium version. So this is basically everything uh, has the same step. Uh, you install, you add a table and you add a like you make a table in an Excel sheet and upload it and uh, just uh, the data will be converted. So here I'm going to uh, show you a geo, uh, geo one here. So I'm going to choose that and let's uh, go to next. You can, uh, the, the, sim, uh, se, uh, the steps is simple for everyone, everything. What you have to do is you can see that uh, there is a sample one uh, here. You can see in the import data file, in the geo.csv. Uh, and uh, you can just edit that file and then add uh, whatever data you have. Here uh, they have a data and uh, it's uh, showing that the minimum uh, color is the uh, white one and then the uh, green one and everything. So I'm going to uh, show you uh, how uh, like we can import the data. First one you have to uh, download it and uh, edit it. What I have done is I've just uh, uploaded it into uh, uh, Excel sheet and I've just added uh, things. So uh, the basic thing is uh, first you need a, a name like category name. Then the next very important step is you have in the second line you have to mention what type of values that you are giving. If it's a uh, like a noun or a name you have to add the string. Uh, this is the uh, string you have to uh, give it the name string and then uh, if, if the second column is numbers you have to give it a name uh, as number so it should be in uh, small letters and it should be readable by the uh, file so this is the, this is the data I'm going to give and here I'm going to go to file and I'm going to download it as .csv file, not XLS file, but as .csv file. If you are editing in your Excel sheet, you have to make sure that this is going uh, into as a .csv file. So uh, that will be downloaded. Meanwhile, I'm going, I'm going to go here and uh, like show you how the importing works. So first one, you can import the data from file. You can just uh, choose it, choose and add the file here. Next, there is imported data from URL option available. You can uh, import a CSV file here. And uh, there is also uh, like one time uh, upload is only uh, feasible in this session. But if you have a pro version, you can uh, just add a link to the uh, live uh, link here Add the link and you can see that the live update will be done uh, through this. So that's a very good option uh, if you're going for the pro uh, pro setting like Google Analytics. If you want to add uh, combine them here, you can just have to uh, like add the link here and just uh, give it a live 
and it will be updated as a if uh, if you have a customer like like customer demographic if you want to show them you can just uh, add that plugin over here then you can also add the json file uh, as well then there is other chart option and the wordpress uh, import wordpress and import uh, database all those th all those things will be available in the pro version so here i'm going to import the file and choose this file and uh, i've just added this and i'm going to import this so uh, once imported you can see that the my data has been now imported but uh, you know you can also customize it according to your wish you can go to settings there are general settings and here you can add a title so i'm going to add a uh, user analytics and here you have a map setting like you you can uh, add a api key uh, to google map and then there is region if you have a specific region a spe specific code or specific continent you can just add them so that a specific continent will only be available this is right now the world uh, is here but if you want to add metro region all those things is also available here then the resolution you can add the resolution then the display mode tool uh, uh, everything is will, is available in the display mode you will be able to see re, uh, regions and markers and the uh, resolution uh, you can choose countries or, or only metros etc or, or you can choose them as well in this so you can also choose colors uh, so here uh, it's just green i'm going to uh, uh, choose another color i'm going to choose red and the maximum value i'm going to choose it uh green and uh intermediate uh, no minimum value i'm going to choose the red one and intermediate one as the yellow one so you can see this is the uh, basic color scheme that we use uh, to uh, generate some uh, scarce area etc so you can choose this like it's very good option when you are using this uh, plugin then there is a size option uh, like when uh, like marker radius everything uh, it's available here also magnifying glass this is also a very uh, uh, plus point of this plugin like when a mouse hovers over you can see that that uh, country is uh, reflecting uh, towards us so you can just give it a zoom factor i'm going to give it a 25 uh, this will be varying uh, uh, depending on the uh, depending on the uh, uh, like device then there is size you can uh, uh, adjust the chart like what's so, uh, what's the height and width of the chart and you can adjust that according to your uh, page size all right uh, then there is some other options as well uh, you can convert it into a uh, code etc so i'm going to create the chart here and the chart is available right now uh, here so here what you have you can do is you can you can just uh, copy the short code over here and then place it wherever you want so i'm going to go to add uh, a post uh, add new and here uh, i'm going to add the like you can add it wherever you want you can just paste the short code uh, sometimes you can also add it from the block or elementor or whichever uh, thing that you are using you can add them directly through that you can see the visualizer chart uh, widgets in the dashboard you can just uh, display the existing chart uh, so here my is not supporting if you have another thing you can uh, just use that i have also copied the short code so i'm going to uh, copy that short code here and publish it so once published uh let's wait for the publishing once published uh, you can just view the post and and you can see the our uh, data over here that's visible right uh, right in the middle you can customize it by, uh, however you want uh, this is just my idea you can just adjust the height width etc uh, according to your uh, thing from the uh, widget library uh, main visualizer library and also you can use whichever chart you want like pie chart bar chart everything everything is available in that and you can add just like in the similar fashion you can just download the csv file and you can edit and give data also you can 
upload other csv files just you have to indicate whatever data that you are giving is matched uh, to the current or you uh, or if you upload some wrong data you can also see that there is a uh, error button and you can uh, customize it accordingly so that's it that's how you can add a, a geo uh, file here like a geo map uh, in your wordpress website using visualizer so if you like this video give a big fat thumbs up and you can just drop your uh, queries or questions or if you want to make uh, want us to make a video you can just drop in the comment section and we'll be happy to help we'll see you in another video bye